If you haven't been adventuring in the unnamed city, you might be unfamiliar with the bosses here that drop some extra goodies. It's about a 30% chance for them to drop a weapon or armor piece. Various different bosses drop various different things. But specifically today, I'm here to highlight the brute boss. Because he's particularly easy, he's not surrounded by a horde of skeletons, and you can pick him off, well, pretty easily. Not to mention that he drops, in my opinion, one of the best swords in the game, the Predatory Blade. Now, you can only use Light Attack with it, but it is a very, very good health damage. And I quite like its little Light Attack for PvE, and PvP is alright, but I do prefer it as a very good getting around PvE sword. It also drops the Shank, and they're also well, probably the best daggers that you can get legendary wise that have cripple and all of that which are very nice there's some other really nice daggers that you can get but yeah these ones definitely keep them if you get them you get the helm of the brute which does some strength damage and some medium armor which is pretty decent medium armor if you wear that and the gauntlets of the brute which give extra stamina and again same as the helm of the brute pretty decent if you like medium you usually also get a relic fragment and some type of repair kit. And he can be wandering around quite some distance. Like right now he's over there. He's usually between these two walls right here. There's a little entrance and the like obelisk to the brimstones just like over here by a little stronghold. And the archivist and the obelisk to the unnamed city is kind of there. But yeah, if he's not here, he may have just wandered about because someone could have ran past. So do look around on the dunes for him. You can kill him pretty low level with shitty weapons. It's just going to take a little bit of extra time. These attacks are pretty easy to avoid. He doesn't poison or bleed, but you can sunder him. You can see he doesn't poison. And you can also cripple him, which is nice. I think you can cripple most things. So I generally always make him a pit stop on my way past whether I'm killing other bosses or not because yeah pretty quick especially end game once you already have some stuff but he's definitely worth trying the risk early game just place a bedroll just outside the wall there somewhere a little away from the skeletons and that time we got nothing but a repair kit and a fragment but that does happen if you are planning on farming him and you don't feel like fighting all the other different bosses and venturing deep into the unnamed city, just on the outskirts here, you can kill a scorpion boss. Where is he? Just over here. Yep. There. If you have a shield, he's quite easy to shield and then have a thrall kill him or a friend. Otherwise, again, just avoid his attacks. He goes down a little bit slower, Sunda does help, and he can be poisoned and bled, which helps. Oh, an exit creative mode. I have Khan, it's a nice strength bow, but you'll get different ones from the legendary boxes every time. He's just here. And if you head back towards the brute a little bit, one of these towers, I think it's this one, has a relic fragment on it somewhere, a box, but it's not there for me currently. There's also some of these guys getting about if you kill him or her rather, usually drop a potion, which is nice, but also a heart of a hero, which you need for making bindings of the dead, which is a recipe from the library, as well as curing corruption. And you can tame these guys. They used to be good fighters, but now they're kind of... Meh. Have a little random ship boxes about. And there's usually a relic fragment box right here as well. And these guys you can kill. There's a lot of other bosses in the area, like the Red Mother just there and some skeleton bosses just here. But there for another time. Decent amount of baby dragons in the spawning pools where you don't have to go all the way down to kill the red mother, but you can kill these guys and get some already tanned leather, some haunch, some dragon horn, some dragon bone. You can get one dragon horn each. Kill the red mother, you get more. There's usually one chilling up just around here. And just in the other direction, there's another scorpion boss that you can fight to get another legendary key. 
And I got Betsy's bow. I do find I get a lot of bows and shields from scorpions. By the time you've done all of that, hopefully he's respawned again and you can have a chance at getting your predatory blade or shanks. And I got the predatory blade the second time, which is nice. This was a proper run through. I'd be stoked. So come give the brood a go. Try your luck against some legendary loot. And I hope you get the predatory blade. It is very enjoyable to use. But do remember, it is only light attack. Won't do anything on heavy. And don't bother putting it on a thrall because they're stupid. If you found this information informative, smash that like button. And if you haven't already, consider subscribing. It means a bunch. And until next time, I hope you have an excellent day, evening, night, morning, whatever it may be, wherever you may be. Have a good one.